Hi there, uh, it's me after a long time again. Today I discovered something and I thought uh, it's worth showing you. I'm now in Affinity Photo right now. And um, I want to show you that you can use different kinds of plugins. I was searching if you can use Photoshop plugins in Affinity Photo and how that works. So I will show you with Luminar, which is maybe a substitute for Lightroom, that you can use that one as a plugin. If you go here in File, then you can go to Install Plugins. And he has written install Luminar 3 as a plugin. You can use that in different uh, Adobe products, Photoshop or Lightroom. So um, since I don't use any Adobe products anymore, that doesn't make sense. But I found something out and I will show you what you can do if you have both Affinity Photo and Luminar 3 here in that case, but I guess it also works with Luminar 4, that you can use that one as a plugin in Affinity Photo. Just go, now we are back in Affinity Photo. You go to Edit and then you go to Preferences. Photoshop Plugins is written here. We uh, use um, the Nick collection here in the plugin folder, but, and I show you that that works, I will, I will remove that now. Um, so close that. And we'll start again right away. As you can see here, now only Nick collection is available and not uh, Luminar anymore. We go to Edit, Preferences again, Photoshop Plugins, and then we click on Add. Now I go to this computer, like that, Program Files. Uh, did it? I think it's Skylum, yeah. And here's Luminar 3. And I choose a folder. And I just close. If I go to Fillers Now, Plugins, here we have the Lumina 3 plugin, which I installed as a standalone. We also use as a plugin in Affinity Photo. I just open a picture. This one, for example. So I will not do anything here, I will just develop and if I go now to filters, uh, so Skylum, Lumina 3. Now Affinity Photo is going to open Luminar, which takes a little bit, here we go. Now I can edit the picture change whatever I need to change. What I realized in Luminar that um, that everything looks a little bit unsharp but this is um, this is a preview. If I open that again in um, uh, Affinity it does it, it looks different it looks more sharp. You can uh, go down with the highlights go up with the shadows like that more contrast or less contrast, whatever. Saturation. Here we go. So that's a good. Uh, then we click on apply, and the picture will export back to Affinity Photo. It's not optimal, I would say. The it it used quite some time to load and to export back to. To Affinity Photo from Luminar, but it's a good alternative if you have that software. If you use Affinity Photo, then you should definitely give it a try. And maybe it also can be a good alternative to Nick Collection if you don't own that, or definitely it's an alternative to um, Lightroom. It's not as weighty as Lightroom Classic. I don't know uh, Lightroom CC, I'm talking about Lightroom Classic, but it definitely 
you can catalog with Luminous 3 and 4 and you can uh, edit your pictures. So uh, that definitely, I believe, works better than the develop persona in uh, Affinity Photo. I am not very satisfied with that one. So, yeah, I thought I want to just quickly sh show you what you can do with designated plugins for Photoshop. I have read you cannot use all Photoshop plugins, but definitely some, and you definitely should give them a try to do it that way. Hope you liked the video. Give it a thumb up. Uh, write a comment if you have a question or yeah, let me know what you think in general. Thank you. See you next time.